Highbreed Federal Executive Council meeting, which started at about 9 o'clock, had in attendance the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, and the Head of the Civil Service of the Federation, Dr. Fola Shade Yemi Esong, among other top government officials. The president presides over the meeting, which started with a minute of silence in honor of the former Minister of National Planning, Mr. Ayodele Ogunlade, who died recently at the age of 88. The first business of the day is the inauguration of the National Council on Climate Change, which marks the commencement of the implementation of the Climate Change Act of 2021 and a new chapter in the renewed response to climate change in the country. As we approach COP27 to be held in Sham El Sheikh, Egypt, I am optimistic that the National Council on Climate Change will harmonize all issues relating to climate change, energy transition plan, emissions transition scheme, and the carbon trading framework, etc., in line with its mandate under the Act so that Nigeria can have a robust and impactful outing that captures Nigeria's climate change priorities. Two hours later, the meeting ends with an approval for the purchase of armored vehicles for the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. With all these successes being recorded, it is only logical that the criminals and criminal syndicate are now devising means inclusive of an attack on the personnel of the NDLEA. So it is with that in mind that a memo is presented seeking approval of the Council for the procurement of armored vehicle for the agency, contract for the procurement of 14-seater model was approved, the delivery period for the 18-seater for the NDLEA is 16 weeks from today, and the company that has been granted the contract is uh, Devcom Integrated Services Limited. The Federal Executive Council also gave approval for the commencement of the second phase of the National Sugar Master Plan. Additionally, Council approved 1.85 billion Naira for the building of a retaining wall for a salt project in Eboing State, and another 27 billion Naira for the rehabilitation of a 27-kilometer road linking Ondo and Edo State. From the State House in Abuja, Kayla Megwa, Channels Television News.